October is setting itself up to be a very strange month weather-wise for some of us, so let's take a look at what you can expect. We start off the month with a large high pressure dome stuck over the eastern United States with unusually rainy weather affecting the western portion of the country. As this storm heads east, it should bring some rain and storms to the central portion of the U.S. before sweeping across the east. Even after this unusual pattern clears out, the month of October will remain weird as you will see on my official precipitation forecast. Drier than normal weather is likely across the eastern United States, which is pretty unusual. Parts of the Pacific Northwest also look to have drier than normal weather this October, which seems to be a common thing on my precipitation forecast lately. On the contrary, the central plains into portions of the west may see more precipitation than usual. This will definitely be much welcome since a lot of these areas, especially Texas, have seen much less rain than normal. The Climate Prediction Center is agreeing with me on this forecast showing drought improvement and even complete removal across much of Texas. Places like Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama will see drought development due to drier than normal weather this month. The temperature forecast for October is actually starting to resemble the typical El Nino pattern. As we head closer to the winter season, we will slowly start to see the dominance of El Nino over our weather. Above normal temperatures are possible for most of the lower 48, but may be excluding the southeast. Warmer than normal temperatures become even more probable as you head north, with the greatest chance of warmer temperatures across the northern plains, upper Midwest, and Great Lakes, which is very typical during an El Nino. Before we proceed with my severe weather forecast, I included a little segment for Alaska. Temperatures across Alaska will be warmer than normal, especially for the northern part of the state, while southwest Alaska and the Aleutian Islands look to be more average. As far as precipitation, it looks like much of the state has a chance at seeing slightly wetter than normal conditions. Severe weather across the lower 48 will continue to be a risk this October, especially with temperatures running far above normal. I think the biggest risk areas will be across the central U.S. and the Gulf Coast. There may be some severe weather events here or there in the eastern half of the country, but due to abnormally dry weather and a lack of thunderstorm fuel, I'm really not seeing much potential there. Places like Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas into parts of Dixie Alley have a much more favorable environment for severe weather, especially later in October when increasingly intense temperature clashes occur. Snowfall will also start coming back into the picture, but maybe not as early as usual. Warmer and drier than normal conditions will keep northern areas snow-free, at least for the first half of October, but some models are hinting towards the potential for snowstorms in late October. The biggest risk areas for snow will be in the blue shades, especially in the darkest blue region in the northern plains. For the next chapter of today's forecast, we have to talk about the tropics. Thankfully, September is the peak of hurricane season, so we have gotten past the worst, but it's not over yet. Remember that ocean temperatures are still far above normal, which has helped multiple strong hurricanes form in the Atlantic this season, so we can't write off October. The typical development areas for October start migrating closer to America, as you can see here. So places like Florida and the East Coast, as well as the Gulf of Mexico, shouldn't let their guards down. We've now reached my official forecast map for October. Starting off in the northwest, you can expect occasional Pacific storms, although precipitation will still remain below normal. In the southwest, warm weather is expected with typical dryness. A large portion of the north from the northwest into the Great Lakes can expect far above normal temperatures, with snowfall likely occurring later than usual. The central United States can expect warmer than normal temperatures, frequently reaching the 70s and 80s, especially in the first half of October. Once we get down into Texas, I'm really happy to report that the very long-awaited drought and heat relief has arrived. October looks to deliver Texas above normal rainfall and frequent waves of cooler temperatures. Much of the east is overtaken by this blue shade. This is where you can expect some occasional refreshing cooldowns before warming back up. You can also look for much drier and sunnier than normal weather. Next, the southeast U.S. from Florida to the Carolinas should continue to monitor the tropics. Other than the tropical threat, generally average weather is expected. Lastly, the northeast can look for warmer than normal weather with occasional stormy periods. With that being said, that will conclude my October weather forecast for 2023. I appreciate you watching and stay tuned for more weather reports.